Okay, guys, it's been a couple of weeks. We've been pretty busy this time of year. Kind of get you up on what we're doing. There's not much to show you, really, but this is what we're working on. A G3X install manual. Note the pages in this manual. Yeah, 943. So we've got a bunch printed out here that we need. Hopefully, most of them what we need. We've been... Uh, We've got everything installed, I hope, where we think we need it. Uh, the battery box is behind the baggage compartment where the battery goes, which I have the battery, it's not installed yet. And then we had to locate everything on the system where you want it to be. So we come over here and we have the, let's see if I can undo this. The baggage compartment down out of the way here is the uh, comm radio, remote comm radio. This is a, a ADSB system. This is the GPS antenna. And no, it won't quite be mounted like that. It's just there for location purposes right now. Duke is really excited today. about 95 outside and he's happy to be in here we have the GS 25 Adhar goes we mounted it here all the uh, static lines air pressure lines will come into that there uh, the CAN bus system this is the CAN bus wiring it's connected pretty much to everything and we have it wired back we got the picked up the comm and the uh, ADSB. We've come back to pick up the Adahar, and now it is ready to run to the front up here to hook up the GEA 24 engine monitor here, and of course the G3X screen and the autopilot. We'll hook to that. Uh, we have a heater in now. I don't think I had that in the last video. The heater system is in. Just needs. Two hoses to hook up. I'm going to put a shut off in there. Why that one has not been hooked up yet. Uh, let's see, we finished up our turbo plumbing here. I, I don't think the turbo line was on there last time, but it's been tested and ran some electrical. That's the starter starter wire there, number four wire. We put the vertical power. This is electronic fuse box, breaker box. Uh, gone are the days of the switches and such like, which a lot of people still use them. But uh, Ground uh, tabs have got to be mounted. I think I've figured out where I want those now. So they're ready to be put in. This is for the headphones. This plate here will mount like that and your headphone jacks will be here. I'm putting USB hookups in it. There'll be one on each side. Putting the USB hookups there. So I've got to drill another hole for that. Oh, I think that is the bulk of the electronic items that, that I'm putting in. I mean, you can put a jillion different electronic this is a totally Garmin system I'm putting in except for the vertical power other than that uh, we've just been running some wires and we're getting ready for weed harvest so plain work is gonna have to stop here for a couple weeks probably but that's all we've been doing is uh, trying to get the wiring put in oh we put the uh, com antenna on here too we did receive our uh, we have got our ELT it's over there in one of those boxes that's emergency trans emergency locator transmitter all all planes have to have those they hang wait this one will be mounted underneath these two bars here not a lot of wiring to it so shouldn't be too bad com antenna is there so that's kind of about all we've been doing there's just not much to show you this box here was almost full when i started and it's i'm depleting it pretty fast 
had to learn to use all these tools here. I'm... Yeah, that's the way I wire too. <laughs> had to learn a lot of new wiring fun stuff. Uh, a meter's your friend. Other than that, it's just uh, just do what these 50 or so pages here tell you to do. It's not complicated. It's just extremely time consuming. I can't get Susan to do any wiring for me either. She's, uh, well, I say that she pulls wires. She does, she does about anything, but she won't make any connections or don't even want to know how. She's, I think she's a little afraid that she'll get a job if she does, but she pulls us and she's pulled all these wires from one end of the plane to the other or helped me. And she'll help me string them through the wings. So that's what we're doing now. Won't be doing anything for a couple of weeks, so. We'll have something up the next time we have something up. correct because the wood will break <laughs> Yeah, turn north here. <laughs> that's good. Aim towards your brother, but that'd be fine. No, that's fine. Hey, you're like smack at him. That's right. He ain't gonna turn loose a hammer. I can tell by looking at him. I think he went through it. <laughs> some winter wheat. We plant this to double crop beans when we get it off. The wheat is very good this year. Above average for us for sure. So we're very blessed to get a crop like this. Some beans in behind the wheat crop we just took off. <laughs> 